It really is dangerous. Um, it's very dangerous. Hey, speaking of dangerous, welcome back, America. Segment two, IDD. For those of you who know, I don't disagree. The Our end. Facebook debut. That because. is the Redoubtables one himself, Tom Mizzle. I am the highly questionable. Oh. We are locked in a potential Donnie out in the Pacific Northwest. Number 19, Oregon, in the third quarter with a 14-0 lead on number 10, undefeated Utah. An upset alert here. Utah is trying to make a comeback here. And we just saw a day later. That was a D Clayton. An illegal hit. It may have been an illegal D Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, this you dude. You sound kind of like a like redneck mixed with Ernest. Or in the Remember mid-side. Ernest? Ernest P. Worrell. You do? Yeah. Ernest goes, goes to, to camp. camp. Oh! Yeah, we I both hit camp. Yep. As many places he went, yep. we both came with the camp. Well, that was the one. Was that the first one? The first one. Um, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, the <laughs> he was such a fucking moron. He was such a, <laughs> such a dude. What a donkey he was. <laughs> he Ernest fact, goes to when camp. I, I think the first time I thought of that word was when I saw his face. <laughs> moron? Donkey. Oh, donkey. <laughs> fucking donkey. Just a donkey. Dominic um, the donkey? No, I hate that fucking song. Don- oh, the please, donkey. I'll be back. Um, he does this once a... Oh, he's putting eye drops in. Actually, this is not a pee break. No, um, it's by, like again, contest. segment two brought to you by the good doctor. This is the greatest soft drink in the world. By the way, this is Tom's call. He was his baby. Uh, this is uh, cream soda, zero sugar, the Dr. Pepper. The, and by, by the way, with vodka? Uh, oh, with Tito's? Tito, succulent. Totally would you, succulent. Would you mind grabbing me one of those, bro? What? Yeah. Um, so anyway. Uh, Sorry, I had to do a little contact lens maintenance. It's all right. And we should be drinking. It's Friday night after all. What the fuck? President, invi- do I have any Tito's? I don't. Really? What do you have? I have vodka. Do you? I, do, I think. Do I? The whip, the whipped vodka. No, that would be too. I wish I had that. With, I oh wish man. I had that. Why, now, yeah. Dr. Pepper also makes a zero sugar strawberry cream. Yeah, but you didn't That's think that was as good, right? It, so by itself, I think it's not as good. With the whipped vodka, I think it's better. Kiss caramel? Oh, that might be good. Like this? I might be conducting a little experiment in segment three, America. Segment three? Let's do it right now. Well, we're typing. We got time. Ty- typing? Type- taping. You just said we're typing. We're taping. The man's gone country. We're typing. The man, the- <laughs> we're typing, kids. By the All way, right. segment two. <laughs> we NFL have four picks. NFL picks. He has got the lead right now at 30 and 15. Very, very impressive first three weeks. First weeks are very tough to pick, especially teams are still trying to figure out who the fuck they are. We still haven't got guys back, but that's pretty impressive. I'm sitting there at 27 18. Respectable, but not as good as I should it's be. still 12 so, over. It's 9 No, over. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I take back everything I just said about him. Anyway, so I'm communications major, not a math uh, major. So we're going to go through the week four picks, America. Write yours down at home. I want to see what you guys, some of you guys got this week. A lot of good games. We were just talking about off air the one o'clock slate. Talk about fucking matchups. I mean, you know it's a good week when you got two 0-3 teams clashing and you actually are excited to see that game. We're calling it the somebody's getting fired game. Because whoever loses that game is, <laughs> is, is definitely on the hot seat. If they aren't already, the seat's going to, they're going to turn it up. Well, hold on. Yeah, let's start. Up. Let's go game by game. We got to start with the nine thirty, baby. We go. Uh, by the way, I check in London. London. I love. I love. We got to go to London sometime. <laughs> that don't be so much fun. Really? Yeah, I don't dude. Feel like I need to go to London. It's not need. It's want. Well, we and said, then we go from we, London. We got to go to we London. Go to London. Like we go to London. But it's on the way to Amsterdam. London first. Get, and Amsterdam. Weed is legal here now. I know. I still want to go. It would be fun. It would be fun. Wouldn't it? But like, it would have been more fun when weed wasn't legal. Well, there's that, there's that element. Because it's like, oh, we get to go to this country where, where they don't give you a can fuck. go buy a brownie. Where, they, where their head isn't rammed directly up their ass. <laughs> like, like ours is. <laughs> well, it's slowly coming out. It's coming around, finally. Now the government figured out a way to make money off it's it. It's decriminalized here in VA. Yeah, yeah, where, yeah it's legal. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to go through our picks. We're going to start what the 930 game. By the way. Toy Story. The, the, the Toy Story game. Atlanta Falcons. Hey. Two and one. The one loss was at Detroit, who just bollywop poly- fucking uh, Green Bay in, in, in Green Bay and Lambeau Field last night. Uh, that's no shame in that loss on the road there. Yeah. Um, Atlanta's been impressive. Detroit's defense has been good. They're in the top. They're sixth. Yeah. They're sixth in defense. But, I mean, okay, so Atlanta barely beat the Packers in Atlanta. But they beat them. Um, they, they did beat them. They beat them. They did. And Atlanta, they, look at No one thought they were going to win that game. Yeah. And they won week. Well, look, Atlanta's been impressive. Jacksonville, on the other hand, who they're playing, Oof. has been less uh-huh. than impressive. 
Um, I mean, where is the Calvin where, Ridley revenge game? Where, my, well, my I hope so. Where the hell? Hey, look, and again, we talked about the game they lost when they dropped a bunch of touchdown right. passes. Maybe that was part of the problem. I mean, but they gotta they gotta win this game. Yeah. This I think this is more important for Jacksonville than Atlanta. Oh, without a doubt, Atlanta's in the South. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the South, South. They're two and zero. Oh, they're two and one. Mm-hmm. I mean, there'll be one game out of first. Well, well, no. The, if if Tampa wins, there'll be one game back with Tampa. And one's going to be held again. We'll get to that in a minute. But um, either way, it is. Either it way, is more. I think Jacksonville needs it more. Yeah. I think Jacksonville needs it more. Um, and again, but this is tricky because I Atlanta. Go Jacksonville. I mean, it's tricky because Atlanta's been running the ball down people's throats, and Jacksonville's D is nowhere near Detroit's. And I have the stats to prove it. Um, what I would say is this: um, this is to me has to be Trevor Lawrence reminding everyone of who the fuck he is. This has got to be that game where he throws four touchdowns. But no, it does. He's got yeah, he's got to be that dude. So here's my thing: he's got to be that dude. The other guy is Desmond Ritter, and no offense to him, but the Jags cannot lose the Desmond Ritter. They have just as many weapons. Two other teams have lost as Atlanta. Atlanta. Well, they yeah. And Look, they need losing to start the KC like is the, not a bad loss. They need to start playing like the fucking yeah. playoff team. Losing the KC year. is not a bad loss. It's the Houston loss at home that's the problem. Yeah, KC's a good. Well, KC's and the a Houston thing. loss by what? Twenty points. They got. They bitch gave up thirty six. They got bitch slapped. That's the scary part because Houston yeah. just ran on them, right? Or no, Houston's been Houston. Houston did the ball. whatever they wanted. They yeah. ran in through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know so what, are you telling me you're going with Atlanta? No, I'm, I think Jacksonville needs this game. The desperate team usually wins, and it's a neutral site. Um, maybe getting a change of scene will help because I'll tell you, Jacksonville will shit the bed at home. So yeah. uh, I think Jacksonville wins this game. I think it's close because Atlanta can run the ball. I think it's going to be a, they're going to take possessions away because they're going to be able to. I, Jacksonville's defense has to show me something. And I got news for you: if Atlanta is able to run the ball down Jacksonville's throat, who knows? I have Jacksonville in this game by by a field goal. It's going to be close. All right. Okay. Next up, uh, what do we got? Oh, no, no, you're the I one thought, with the, I don't the, deal with the schedule, dickhead. Um, <laughs> One o'clock, all right. Donnie, Donnie, Mr. Donnie. Miami at Buffalo. Uh, I like Miami. Everybody likes Miami, 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 Miami. Um, here's the deal about with Miami. Um, they're not going to do what they did last week. No. Pass interference. Of course they're not going to do what they did last a, week. Buffalo is a top five ranked defense. Right Sherlock, now. folks. It's Sherlock. Yep. Top five, <laughs> and they're not going to score. In the seven three eight. in the three meetings last year, Miami won the turnover battle all three times and lost two out of three. Mm. So Buffalo needs this game more than Miami, also because it's in Buffalo. And again, this will be a dotty. This may go into overtime, but I've got Buffalo in this one also by a field goal. So Miami. next one is going to be this is the <laughs> I got Miami, and it's probably. All right, you're going to talk for 10 minutes about no, the don't. game and then go, next game. Who do you got? Miami, next game. Well, did you want to talk about it? Well, I would have liked to engage in some conversation. Go right ahead. Well, no, we're, we're I am, I haven't mentioned the next game. We're moving on. No, not. Tell us why Miami's going, going to win, Tom. No, it's fine. It's, Let me guess. It's Because okay. they put up 70 last week? No. Thank not. you, Captain Obvious. You said it, not me. You're Sherlock. You're Sherlock. Here we go. Here we go. So Miami put up 70 last week, and then in comes RJ, all-knowing expert to tell you, that's not going to happen again. It's happened four fucking times in the history of the NFL. Of course it's not going to happen again. Miami's going to win. Why? Because Buffalo is not as good as they were last year. In the playoffs, Miami took them to the wire with Skylar Thompson, okay? And Tua looks real, real good. Buffalo happens to look good because they feasted on Sam Howell, having his first oh-shit rookie moment of his yeah, career. Actually, he played pretty flawless until that game. He had a major oh-shit moment. He had a major oh-shit moment. Okay? But Buffalo's he, defense was the reason why. No doubt. He had a major no oh-shit moment. But <laughs> it was the reason why, but he could not stop the shit. The shit kept coming. Okay, right? On that one play where the DN jumps up and... I would say the one thing that's been consistent with Buffalo the first weeks, and again, competition has something to do with it, but their defense has been stout all three weeks. They haven't had a hiccup. No, the Jets fucking ran all over them. If Aaron, if that clown didn't turn the ball over four times, Buffalo wins that game in regulation. I Buffalo, know, Buffalo had a 13-3 to lead at the half in that game. You know that, right? <laughs> I do, but also the Jets were able to run on them when Zach Wilson was their quarterback. 
I hate that. I, I hate mean, that. He can't fucking throw and Brees Hall is fucking, you know, running all over you. All right, but I digress. I I just feel like I think Miami is better than Miami is right not now. going seventeen and zero. They got to lose somewhere. This is going to be one of the games. Of course, lose. but Miami plays the Eagles. They play the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. They play New England another time. I, so I think Buffalo is better than Dallas. I don't know about the Eagles, but Dallas, I think they are better. Than, um, but because um, Josh Allen's a better quarterback than I mean, Prescott, he is. By yeah, far, no doubt. By far, no doubt. So I mean, but um, I, but I don't know. I, I, but no, I like, I, I like Miami. It's going to be a great Old game. Pick. Oh shit! Oh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great game. Might be the game of the weekend, honestly. And I think it goes to overtime, quite honestly. Remember the but, one in Buffalo last year yeah, when it was like thirty something, thirty four twenty nine. Yeah. All right, so you got Buffalo. I got Miami. What's yep. the next? The next one is this is the zero and three, zero and three. Denver at Chicago. <laughs> I already know who he's picking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I've been on record saying I will pick against Denver. Every week. Until he is fired. <laughs> yes. Um, and not because I hate Denver or Russell Wilson. It's just because of how douchey Sean Payton was in the offseason. So last week wasn't enough. Okay. You're not satisfied? No. What the? <laughs> no. Well, no. That's the worst thing that could have happened. You're what right. are you talking yeah. about? It doesn't get any worse than that. I know. I wanted to keep going to him. And now it sucks because it's happened to all those players, but uh, <laughs> but you I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, it's all it's it's all, it's, it's, it's all because I want of Sean, you. I want Sean Payton fired. In the Your worst ass way. is black and um, blue. All right, so I'm going to Bears, and I think Justin Fields is gonna run all over them, like his name was Raheem Mostert or A Chain. I don't know his first name. So Dub Bears get off the Schneid. We're going deep dish pizza on that one. Um, you? Major Sean Payton fan. No. A lot of burping on this show. I'm not a Sean Payton fan at all. I just I know, was kidding. I just know that, well, this is the thing. If they lose this game, <laughs> oh, my God, what's going to happen in Denver? Part of me really wants to see what would happen in Denver on Monday if they lost. Talk about a, a mushroom cloud. <laughs> um, but Denver can't. What could the they problem do? is Chicago can't get out of their own way either. Like they're they There's two teams. Like they that. don't know what the fuck. I mean, Russell Wilson actually is playing well. He's had, he is not the pro- he's not the problem. His number. You look at his numbers. He's playing good, not yeah. average. Good. He's not the problem. Uh, the problem for me is because Sean Payton's an offensive coach, he does not really he doesn't put a lot on the defense. He's got to now. Because of what happened he's last like the week. He's the opposite of Belichick. He's, he's the opposite of Belichick, okay? So. He's kind of like the offensive Belichick. He kind of is. He just didn't have Tom Brady. Well, he, and he also um, has one title as a head coach. Yeah, well, Tom Brady's <laughs> Tom Brady. Sure. Um, well, he had Drew Brees. Not Tom Only Brady. Only got there once. He's not Tom Brady. Yeah, no, he did beat Peyton Manning. <laughs> so that's pretty good. His defense did. Uh, he threw two touchdowns in that game. He was, he was actually, I think he was three. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant Sean Payton. Not, I wasn't talking about Drew Brees. Uh, yeah, no, look it. I don't know. Look, I don't put Sean Payton in Belichick's category at all. No. One is nowhere near six. <laughs> Personality but, wise, maybe. Yeah, they're similar in that because they're both off the Parcells tree. Mm. That's the thing. They're both from the same tree. Um, <sighs> so you like Denver? Here, no, right? I don't. No, oh. I don't because I have a feeling. I thought you were going to say that. I have a feeling this team is going to quit on this guy. I think they want him gone. Seems like they did last week. Um, but then I saw, see, this is the thing. Like I, Chicago, if you don't do this now, if you don't win this game. Well, they could quit. They might quit too. Because Fields is already talking shit about his coaching. Well, this is the other problem. Which is never a good look. <laughs> then they go into Casey. Now, Casey's Casey. All right. They went and like, they got bum blasted 41 to 10. That's not a surprise. Casey's the defending world champion. Travis Kelsey is healthy. That offense is humming. And they have Chris Jones back on defense. But Casey's defense is ranked seventh right now in the league. So, I mean, look, that's, there's no shame I've in that. I've been impressed by Casey. There's no shame in that. Okay, Remember, remember opening week when well, they didn't have Chris Jones no. and they stayed in that game? I mean. They did because I thought Detroit was too conservative. If Detroit had thrown the ball more, they would have blown them yeah, out. You might be right. Um, but Detroit was too afraid of Patrick Mahomes. And the problem with that is he, didn't have, he, didn't, have the, he didn't have Kelsey. And, and you saw the drop. When he's not on the field, okay. Mahomes is just another guy without his binky, like most quarterbacks in this league, okay. And now, the, and the world saw it. So the bottom line is this: um, I mean, there's no it shame. Wasn't, in it that. wasn't just that; it was 
Kadarius Tony handed the game to Detroit. Come on. How? He couldn't catch anything. You can't hand it. <laughs> <laughs> what was he handed to? There's nothing there. It was there. a proverbial <laughs> hand. <laughs> like, like, I, I want to give you this, but I, I can't hold on to it. So it's just, yeah, here, take the game. Take the, oh, sorry. Oh, here's the game. It's on, the, it. on the ground. Sorry. No. I, I don't mean, think I've ever seen a, a wide receiver <laughs> directly bad. impact. I have, but not like, like that. The other team winning. That, not like that. I've seen guys I mean, drop. I guess you drop a touchdown. No, I've seen Mike play. Evans did this last year when, when Brady, they, he drops a 65-yard touchdown. He's, he's five yards in front of the guy. Brady yeah. puts it right on the, and he drops it. Like, what the fuck? That's that was, a Hall of Famer. That was gross. And that, that changed the whole complexion of that game. You can see the whole Tampa sideline that, sink. That, that was a big part of their season. It really was. Yeah. It hurt their season. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anyway, so we're both Chicago. Both Chicago. Well, so Michigan next one. Is. Sorry about that, America. We're getting off on a tangent here. It's all right. We're, um, we're, we're doing all right. Fun. We're doing all right. Um, so next one. This one's very interesting. Baltimore, Cleveland. Ooh. I'm going with Cleveland. Yeah. Um, Cleveland, to me, just that defense. And Baltimore's offense is not in sync right now. And this is, uh, but Cleveland's defense right now is ranked number one in the NFL. They held, they held our boy there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Burrow, to 82 yards passing in week one. Dude, they're, they're I don't care nasty. how many weeks Joe Burrow had off. That receiving core, uh, that receiving, receiving core was practicing. Okay, 82 yards, 82 yards. I, I can't see, unless Baltimore offensively drastically changes their game plan, they're going to struggle against this defense. They are. They really are. So I've got Cleveland in that one. Well, I mean, <laughs> I think I have to go with Cleveland too. That Cleveland's defense... Mm. Watching Cleveland's defense, they look like the best defense in the league when you watch them. When they were hitting Pittsburgh, they were, and I know they lost that game. San Fran to Pittsburgh was even worse. What San Fran did to them? Oh, I didn't get to see that game. Oh, I did. But (laughs) the the Cleveland Pittsburgh game, they were hitting so fucking hard. And they lost that game. They gave up a couple big plays they shouldn't have. Um, But that was was a hard fought game. I like Cleveland in this. Um, but Baltimore is getting back a couple of offensive linemen that have been hurt. Couple, they better because they're going to need it against it's that. It's a little seven. more time removed yeah. from Mark Andrews' injury. Yeah. Well, he's back now. So I know, he, but yeah, he's I mean, been back, but yeah. he hasn't really. No, he's not quite been himself impact. yet. No, he hasn't. Um, but Beckham's and he might have out. a big game Sunday. That, Beckham's that, still out. That, they need him back because just him being on the field changes how a defense plays. But even he in, in the first game, they didn't call it like one pass. Yeah, because they, they didn't, again, they, they'd they set nothing up for him. Yeah. I don't yeah, understand yeah. how John, Jim, John, whatever his fucking name is, That's Jim John, Harbaugh, John. who's a quarter, was a quarterback. No, it's they not are, Jim Harbaugh, it's John Harbaugh. He was a quarterback too. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. Where? In college. Oh, come on. Was that he? doesn't count. Was he? Yes. Hmm. He wasn't the brother who went and played for the Colts, but I mean, I mean, still. <laughs> that was Jim. Yeah, that was Jim. Um, but anyway, the point is he's, he's supposed to be an offensive-minded guy. Oh, I thought he was a special teams coordinator. He may have come up. That's maybe where we started at the pro level. Mm. But I'm saying he, he, he's supposed to know offense. Yeah. And they've always struggled because they run – again, Jamar, I get I get Lamar Jackson's – I get it. The way he runs like a running back. I get it. But he also has a strong arm, and I guess they, – they're not devoid. He hasn't been running a ton. No, they haven't. The, the thing is, they got to still have that in the game plan. Still, it's like they've taken it completely well, yeah, out. Yeah, that's like, it's kind of like when you look at the Giants and you yeah. go, utilize the skill set. Run. You don't want, yeah. If you've got a dual threat quarterback, why are you not running more yeah, RPGs? RPGs? It doesn't yeah. make sense because it puts more pressure on the defense. He RPGs. doesn't have to run. It. Oh no, RPC. RPO. RPO. <laughs> You're just putting any RPLs. I'm not just putting it. In. It's called. In, it's called. Uh, you know. It's called enhanced, inhibited, really <laughs> Altered. Altered. That's in, a good one. Altered. Enhanced. Enhanced. Yeah. like enhanced. So anyway, um, we both got Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Cincinnati and Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, to me, is a train wreck. <clears throat> They're a train wreck. Um, They've been in games, though. They lost 27-3 to three last week. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? That was Cleveland. Cleveland did that to them 27 That was Cleveland. Yeah, well, what, here comes Joe Burrow, who needs this game. Okay, and they got and this. Cincinnati's they, defense played well last week. They did. They looked better. Um, I think they, this is in Tennessee, but I think Cincinnati wins that one. Gets back to 500. What do you think? Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's move on. Next one, uh, the Rams at Indy. Interesting game. Rams have already gone into Seattle and won. Indy is in first place in the South. Is uh, Anthony thought? Richardson playing? I don't know. He's practicing. But I think I don't know if he's pat, he's questionable. Let me look that up. He's that, questionable. He at least as of yesterday he was questionable. 
So Rams need that game. I think the Rams. I win think the Rams game. win it because yeah. they have they still have a guy named uh, what's his nuts there. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Aaron. Hall. I should say first ballot Hall of Famer. Wait, check that. First ballot Hall of Famer, best gener- defensive player of this generation, Aaron Donald. Really? That dude. Yeah, he is. Of this generation, he's the best defensive player in the league. Of this generation? Okay, so yeah. what years are you saying that's from? He's been in the league 10 years. So the past 10 years, he's the best. He has been. Consistently. Mm-hmm. He's been the best defensive player in this league for the past 10 years. I is think, there anybody near him? I don't think there's any quarterback in this league that would disagree with me who's played against him. <laughs> anybody near him? Oh, yeah. Um, but they haven't played long enough. But, but I'm trying to think, like, during that span. I mean, what about uh, Von Miller? He's up there with him, isn't he? He's up there, years. but he's not better than him. No. Um, Von, Miller's Von Miller might be the best pass rusher of the past gener- of the past 10 years. I'd, I'd give you think that. Aaron Donald's more well-rounded? Yes. Yeah. He's a run-stopper and a – yeah, he's a disruptor. And he does it from the middle of the line, which is very hard to do. Because you're constantly – he's constantly fighting double teams. So, anyway, yeah. I've got the Rams in that one. Uh, Tampa Bay at New Orleans. Um, Tampa Bay, I thought, took a step back the other night. Not that they should have won that game, but they blew some opportunities. Mike Evans is dropping passes. I don't get it. Anthony Richardson is starting. Okay. I'm still, picking, I'm still picking the Rams because Aaron Donald is still on that line. Yeah, I'm still picking um, the Rams. Too. Anyway, um, Tampa Bay at New Orleans, uh, I thought they took a step back because they blew some opportunities. Mike Evans has been dropping the ball. Wait, wait, I don't get it. He did end up catching a touchdown that game. And they played Philly. Yep, yeah, he was open on those that he dropped. And Baker Mayfield actually put the ball where he was supposed to. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell. So it's Tampa, New Orleans? At New Orleans. I got New Orleans. Problem, yeah. Here's the problem with New Orleans. We don't know who's the, the quarterback. Jameis is starting. Yeah, that's the problem. Tampa's D is good. Yeah, good. so is New Orleans. They are. They, they have a good front. I think because of New Orleans, I think this is a field goal game. I got New Orleans and Adani. Oh, man, that's a tough one. It is a tough one. Um, and Alvin Kamara is coming back. That's the other thing. Which is good news for you. Yeah. I mean, I hope. Fancy wise, yeah. I'm going to go Tampa here. Okay. So I've got to warn you at Tampa. Uh, Washington at Philly. um, I was really high on Washington until the quarterback shit his pants last week. (laughs) Um, It was his first oh shit moment. It was a bad one. Look, Buffalo's yeah. D is legit. I'm not saying that, but man. Well, Philly's D is, is just as good. Probably no, they're better. not right now. They're not. Their, sec- their secondary is nowhere near as good as Buffalo's. They're no? there. Five new starters on that defense. Ooh, Four of one. them in the, in the back. In the back. Yeah, the see, so up. I still look at Philly like last year. Like last year. Yeah. And look, they're, they're still getting the most pressures, but that's their front four. The front four is still intact, and that's why I give Philly the edge. Mm-hmm. But look, if Washington is able to run the ball like they did last year, and they've got the running back to do it, and I think they have a better play caller. This, this, the thing is, what's this quarterback going to do now? Because it's one thing to have a bad game. He had a shit the bed game. He literally and cost them the game. front four is, is, is not tough. the team yeah, you want to be no. facing after a shit the bed game. They're much worse than the yeah, Bills. I mean, and the game's in Philly, so I'm going to pick Philly. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Um, next one, Minnesota at Carolina. <laughs> Bryce Young's playing. I'm going Minnesota. Um, oh. Well, 21. Flag. Um, I'm a fourth and one. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Minnesota on the fact that they have they have Jefferson. And I don't think Carolina can stop Jefferson. I don't think they have anybody can come Nobody can. Nobody can. So he's leading the NFL in yardage, by the way. Dude, if um, Andy Dalton was playing, I would think about I would think about Carolina. Okay. But um, I get why you picked that. I agree. I just think that Jefferson's going to be the difference. Um, yeah, Minnesota's better than that. Um, Pittsburgh at Houston. <laughs> hmm. Houston went into Jacksonville and destroyed them. Uh, Pittsburgh defense looks solid, um, but their their offense, another one. Uh, well, these offensive oh, quarters choppy as hell. Choppy as hell. There's no there's no rhythm. There's no there's. It doesn't even look like there's a plan. <laughs> saying, it's like just what it's like throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. Yeah. And the thing is, they've got a, they've got a lot of weapons. The tight ends legit. Pickens is the running back from. They don't know how to. It's weird. It's weird. I don't get it. Like for well, an offensive keep, league, you're missing some serious here's offensive. Here's the thing I don't team. understand is they do have weapons. Yeah. Their offense seems very vanilla. Very. And they love to hand the ball to Najee Harris for three yards. Out of the shotgun. All the time. I don't get it. Like, 
Dude will have 60 yards on 20 carries. What are you doing? Throw the ball. I, I got... Let Pickett get out. I, I mean, I, I put... I kind of want to put Houston there. Well, Houston's looked better on offense. And the coach is a defensive guy. Mm-hmm. So they, you know, if you well, look because at... because C.J. Stroud is protecting the football. I'll tell you what, he looked really good last week. He's not throwing picks. and no. I mean, he's taking care he's of He's gotten better every game. I he picked has. him up on the waiver. I don't blame you. He's gotten better every game. You look at his numbers from game one, he's gotten better every game. So you picking Pittsburgh? No, I'm taking Houston. Yeah, I got us. I, I always try to guess... Yeah. So I put us both down for Houston. I like Houston. Because they're at home, and I think that the the, the Pittsburgh's going to have a problem with them. Um, The Raiders at the Chargers. That's easy. Uh, This week, I don't know if we talked about this on Tuesday, but both Devontae Adams and Crosby, the defensive stalwart, the other guy, because Chandler Jones is in jail right now. I hope he's all right. Mentally, he's not there. And that, by the way, that has hurt the Raiders' defense, because him and Crosby bookend would have been devastating. Yeah. so, but Crosby, who's basically been a, he's a good team locker room guy. He's a, he's a guy. He's, he's a team guy. But him and Devontae have supposedly have gone to, to management about the coach. McDaniels? Yeah. About What the are coach. they saying about him? They don't like him. Well, I don't think many people like him. I don't like him. <laughs> right, I so never we're both him. going Chargers. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and, and Jimmy G. And by the way, I do that with one with my nose in the air because I don't like the freaking San Diego coach, the but LA coach either. He's a dickhead too. Staley. Oh, that's true. Staley should have yeah. been fired four times uh, already. But also, Jimmy G's just clearing <laughs> concussion protocol. I don't know that yeah, he has cleared. Play. Yeah, I mean, if he's, yeah. Um, but either way, I mean, that game will probably um, have a lot of points. Oh yeah, because they, there's too many weapons. Well, for maybe that. not and that it, many points for the Raiders, but I'm sure Devontae will have a bunch. Of, He'll have a big night. Yeah. Um, next game. Oh baby, what you got? America's team versus America's joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got the six-time world champion New England Patriots against the five-time world champion Dallas Cowboys. Uh, star versus star, north versus south, east versus west. Any way you slice it, <laughs> this has got Donnie written all over it. Um, Dallas is coming off a humiliating performance. And again, I don't know how humiliating it is because I think people were, were shortchanging Arizona. And, the, and how competitive they have been. Dallas certainly took them lightly. Um, but then Dallas made the mistake of saying they took them lightly. <laughs> saying we played down to our competition. That was a direct quote from Micah Parsons, Parsons, who is an MVP candidate, by the way, regardless of position. He's playing that well. Although they ran doggies over his ass on last Sunday for the tune of 211 yards, and he was powerless to stop it. Um, which tells me there's something wrong down in Fort Worth. Something is, is not right. Okay, and they turned around and they blamed the media. Really, that was weak. That was weak sauce. Dak said, "You guys, that was weak sauce." See, this is why. This is the thing. That was real weak. That was weak. I've always defended Dak. That that was the first time I thought Dak said something that was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa." He's he's usually pretty buttoned up. He's he's a. he knows how to play the game. He gives you the US. Patriot line yes. of anything else about saying nothing without yeah. saying He's it. usually He smart. didn't do that. Yeah. yeah. He's like, well, the media got what they wanted. They built us up like the media. Oh, so the media wanted you don't to lose. Don't turn yourself into a victim. I mean, yeah, the media wanted you to lose to Arizona. The media. I don't recall a single media member picking Arizona. No. Okay? And that would include the, the Arizona loves, beat writers. The media loves Dallas. They talk about them more than anybody yes. in, in all of sports. Not football. <laughs> all of sports. So now the media sets you up, and then Micah Parsons... So we're both going Pats. We are. Because I think this is the game that the Patriots make their statement. They've been close for a couple weeks against elite teams. (laughs) This is the game. Oh, by the way, Ezekiel Elliott's coming home. Okay. Oh, that's And Bill Belichick Belichick has a way of doing this to other teams. All right. And here's here's why I like him. I know. We should be drinking it right now. We have to come back for segment three. I want to do this on the air. All right, so we can talk a little college. Here's what I like. What is <laughs> so Dallas was really in position to start this season off strong. Well, they did three and zero. Oh. Yep, three yep. and zero. Oh. Mm-hmm. They blew it in Arizona. They got hit in the mouth in Arizona. Okay, they blew it in Arizona because they went in there and instead of staying focused, they you know oh we they started reading the you know the press clippings, the press apparently. clippings or Pointed, listen, listening listen to, to the podcast. Yeah. Yes. Now they go to New England, which I think they're better than New England. I don't. But they're they're vulnerable right now. I don't. And I think New England defense is really going to fuck Dak up. I got news for you. And this is what else is going to happen. Dallas is better than New England at one position. And actually, I don't even know if that's true anymore. Cornerback. 
I mean, no, wide receiver. I think better at quarterback, too. Nope. I, I don't think, think so. Dak's better than Mac Jones at all. I'd, I'd take Dallas's O-line I, over yours. I'd take Dak. I'd take Dak. Pat's front seven is better than Dallas's front seven. You got one Micah Parsons. We got two. Judon and Uche. And by the way, if you look at this. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, Judon has the same amount of I, sacks as him the past two I think years. Micah's better than anybody on, on that team. Judon is everybody's but, good. But I would have. Pat's just having one. That's all. If they I had disagree. one more, I he'd disagree. be getting more. He'd be getting. He had 15 sacks last year. I, I still disagree. <laughs> okay, disagree. Um, Dallas but, is Dallas. Jerry Jones literally blows the media to get fucking coverage when, right, they, when they I'm do trying, something. I'm trying to Go finish ahead. something. So what I also think is going to happen is, so they fucked yeah. up, and didn't beat Arizona. Now they're going to mm-hmm. lose to the Pats. Then they see the Niners, and that's why they're, they're looking past the Pats. They're looking at two and three mm-hmm. instead of fucking. 3-0 and going into this game with a chance mm-hmm. to beat New England. Mm-hmm. Now they're vulnerable. I think New England is going to win this game. New England's going to run that ball right down their throat. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, when they go play action, they're going to use both these tight ends, and they're going to fuck these guys up. And I got news for you. The Pets defense saw. <laughs> the Pets defense is going to fuck with Dak Prescott, like you read about, because oh, yeah. this kid Gonzalez – is right now to me the leading candidate for defensive rookie of the year. He was covering the cheetah most of the night. Well, that's the, that's the other and thing. And C.D. Lamb's great. He ain't the cheetah. <laughs> this kid ain't going to be afraid of him. At and all. and <laughs> Brandon Cooks is okay. He's nowhere near fucking Jalen Waddle. No, he is not. And they held Waddle with two catches. Not even close. Pats held Waddle with two catches. So I would say this. And look, it's going to be a close game. Honestly, if the Pats just don't turn the ball over, they win. Yeah, their offense better show the fuck up. If the Pats don't turn the ball over, they win. And I'm saying this because they lost to Miami by, because they had two turnovers and they lost to the Eagles. That's why they lost. If they don't turn the ball, they beat both those teams. So if they can beat both those teams, and I believe they can, they can beat Dallas. I still think we need to give them back to one thing. What? Saying Dallas is only better than them at one position, that's... that's. I think it's wide receiver. Running back? No, Ramondi Stevenson and Ezekiel, they got a better backfield than Dallas does. Tony Pollard's better than either one. No, he's not. Ramondi Stevenson ran for 1,000 yards last year, and he didn't have the line that Dallas. Pollard's better than him. No, he's not. Ramondi Stevenson's better than Pollard. I don't think so. I don't care what you think. (laughs) (laughs) We're having a fucking discussion, asshole. I don't care what you think. It's like when you're having a conversation, we're on the air having a conversation. I don't care what you think. The only reason anyone knows who Pollard is is because he plays for the Cowboys. That's bullshit. No, it isn't. Because he, he outperformed Stevenson, Ezekiel Elliott Stevenson, for years. Stevenson had more yards per carry last year than he did. They were both numbers. All ones. he did was run the fucking ball. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. He's better. <laughs> Take that. He had, no, he had no offense, but here reminds Arizona, me. Arizona, so he's taking New England take now, the ball. Even though Dallas is so much better. Um, no, that's not. I, I think was Dallas it? is better. I don't. But I think y'all are going to beat him. I think the if Dallas that had, happens all the time. If Dallas had played Philly and Miami in weeks one two, Dallas would be zero two. Tell you that right now, Dallas wouldn't have beat either of those teams, and they won't. They won't. So, next game, Arizona at San Fran. Look, <laughs> Arizona had it did a great thing last week. <laughs> they really did, <laughs> and I think they're going to be competitive. It was cute. It was cute. No, but it was it, it was America's joke. Like, it was awesome. Um, so, and then, and listening to Dallas. All right, let's not yeah. over talk this one. I'm Why not? San Fran's going to win. <laughs> so, uh, Casey <laughs> at New York. Let's not over talk that one. I, I, the question is, how big is the mushroom cloud going to be in New York? <laughs> it's doing, already big. But they're going to start Zach the mu- Wilson no, the in mush- this game. Dude. But yeah, you haven't been watching first take all week. Yeah, because I've been listening to New York's. I've been listening oh, to the actual local. They're radio all there. afraid of what's going to happen if this guy starts. They're hoping between now and Sunday night that Zala has a change of heart and starts the kid Simeon. They're praying. Dude, Simeon then, isn't going to do a goddamn thing. I'm not saying he is. There's here's the there, thing. Here is the thing. Zach Wilson is a terrible option right now. There aren't many good options unless they want to trade for somebody. I know. And even if you get somebody who's halfway decent. New offense, middle of the year. Uh, it's a bit. Nathaniel it's tough. Hackett. I agree. Think about what he did with with fucking Russell Wilson last year. I don't disagree. I'm just no, saying. You agree. I don't disagree. You agree. I don't disagree with that either. I'm just saying that the thing about it is, to your point, New York doesn't have a better option right now, no. quarterback. 
And two, the fan base is the one that's fueling this fire going, this kid starts saying it. Talk, forget it. Just forget it. The team's going to implode. And the, and, and the, and the receiver's going to go in and demand a trade. And all, the, the fucking sky's going to fall. I'm like, no, it's not going to fall. Dude, dude. You're going to lose to Kansas City. Yeah. That's all. And by the way, there's no shame in losing to Kansas City. Even if you had, it, had it, Aaron Rodgers, you K- probably would have lost. Casey could still too. beat you. Yeah. So what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, that's the thing. They're overreacting here's, to this. Here's something funny, though. Um, going into last game mm-hmm. against New England, they tried to start the thing on the fan. Yeah. A couple of the hosts tried to start the back Zach. Remember how Philly started the they, – they cheered – Back Tr- Zach? Back Zach. Like, oh, like, like back him? Have his back. Like oh, back okay, Zach. back. Oh, so catch remember when Philly um, cheered for Trey Turner after? Yes. He, he, he was having a terrible year, yeah. committed an error, lost the game. Philly's and, fans did something. Or Philadelphia right. fans did something they don't they do. They cheered him in his next at bat, and it turned his season around. Okay? So these two guys tried to do that for Zach Wilson. Do you think that Jets fans did it? No, no, <laughs> no. And Zach Wilson shit the bed again. I think Joe Namath was the Hulk Hogan leg drop. The, the Jets fans, Joe Namath is their god. He is their Jesus. He is their Larry Bird. But their why is Joe Namath got to do that? He's wrong. He and when I say he's wrong, it's not that he's wrong in what he said. You don't come out and you're the you. I mean, you're just Joe Namath just destroyed the Jets season. And and he, he just, just and, destroyed. And he might have destroyed Zach Wilson's he, he, career. Yeah, the kid. The kid. Wasn't ready for this. And by the way, that was just as much on the coaching staff it is on him, by the way. Because, and we were talking about this last time. Mm-hmm. If you want to get the most out of this kid, go back to why you drafted him. He Translation, athleticism. put the tapes back in of him in college and look what he did and design an offense that puts him in those scenarios because that's where he was at his best. Yeah. Don't run this, hey, handoff, handoff, and then hopefully make a play on third down if you really, really try. No. You have an all-pro wide receiver. You have two all-pro running backs. Fucking did, put them all out in a flood right with a run RPO option with those three options. And if he wants three, can't get open, then run it for five and slide. Or Why tell, is so or fucking hard him, about that? Or tell him if the first read isn't there, just, just go. Just go. Just because, fucking go. I mean, what is so hard about right. this? I don't understand this. If, if you lose that, well, okay, at least they're trying to help this kid out. But it doesn't look like that right now at all. At all. I mean, so, you can't just expect him to run the offense that Aaron Rodgers was going to run. That's impossible. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. There's no scientific and, way. And he I'm not do saying that. that's what he's not doing wired I, like him. I haven't watched it to know if they are, but like, like you said, would they have 16 runs? They were, it was in Dallas, mind you. You got it two, was you they, two it was a really one it was a backs. one score game. And they ran the ball 16 times. And because they did, the defense was on the field for 83 freaking plays, and that kid threw three picks. And Joe Namath is crushing Zach Wilson. Yeah, crushed the coaching staff. Exactly. Crushed the GM for not getting another quarterback in here when you knew last summer he wasn't your guy. And you know why they did it? Mike Greenberg is right about this. You know why they did this? Because they wanted to justify that pick because they look like the dumbest idiots on the planet right now with drafting that kid at number two. Well, so I, they're trying, their, their hope was Aaron Rodgers will groom this kid like he groomed Love for a couple years, and then he he'll be ready. He groom Love. That's what he they hated Love. That's what they think. Well, that's dumb. I didn't say it was accurate. I said that's what they think. Okay? And they're trying to justify this pick so it's like a total disaster because if they, if they ship him out, that's admitting we fucked up, and they don't want to do that. So dumb. So anyway, we're both right. taking the Chiefs. Which yeah. Monday night, Seattle at the Giants. Man, taking Seattle. <laughs> He's such a quitter. Who do you like? He's such a quitter. No, I'm not. I'm picking who I think is going to win. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm taking picking, Seattle. I'm picking who I think is going to win. I'm taking Seattle. <laughs> you quitter. I'm not a quitter. That my team. I'm not picking with my heart. My Clearly heart not. says the Giants are going to win. No, the, 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 the Giants um, are not. Giants have problems right now. The Giants' problems are they don't have a pass rush. Right. You, if, Gino, if you're just going to give Geno Smith well, 10 seconds. Well, look at the three receivers right, he's got, exactly. too. This is a nightmare. Exactly. This is like San Fran all over again if they don't figure out a way to get well, to him. the receiver, and they got two backs. Yeah. Walker's, I mean, Walker's a stud. Kenneth Walker he's and the, a stud. the yeah. rookie Chabonet or whatever his name, mm-hmm. like, he's supposedly, mm-hmm. you know, Going to be on Walker's level. Um, anyway, those are our picks. We're going to come back. So we're going to do a quick segment three. We're going to pick three college football games tomorrow. Three. Uh, well, there's no point in me picking three college football yes, games. Yes, there is, because actually you, you actually know these teams. You do. Do I? Yeah, you do. Okay. We'll prove it. 
right. Excuse I me. trust you. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Have trust, America. I have to use the ball. Trust. trust and by the way, that's good for a pee break. We'll be back on the other side. Segment three, college football preview coming right up. Pee break. Bur- pee break. Brought pee to break. you by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, cream soda, zero Get used sugar. to that one, Facebook fans. It's always Dr. Pepper's fault. <laughs> 